Hey, it's Sean with Kiwi. Just a quick chaining tip today. I know occasionally when you're hauling various kinds of equipment, you may run up against a hole, a securement hole, where you can't get your hook to go down through there. So I know some of you are tempted to take that chain and put it down through that hole double and then hook a, hook a hook onto it and pull that hook up against the bottom side of the hole to make your connection. That's pretty sketchy. If you have a hole that's large enough for two chains to go down through, then what you can do is, if you're gonna do an angled pull, you wanna have your hook pointed in the angle that you're gonna go. And you can put your chain down through the hole, pull through some extra, focus on the chain that's got the hook attached to it, come right around and make a teardrop, and now you're good to put your chain binder in. I'm going to extend this. So if you want your binder down closer to the edge of the trailer, you can just extend that chain as far as you need to to get to your binder. And then you'll have to bungee this up afterwards, of course, once your chain is tight. One thing to be cautious about when you're using this technique is the chain that you're not using. You need to make sure that that's on the back side of your teardrop, the side away from the pull of your chain, because it's possible for that unused chain to get caught in between there and then fall out at some point and cause your main chain that's under tension to come loose. So once you get your chain tight, always make sure that you can still move this unused chain. That'll prevent that from loosening up accidentally on the way. If you're in a tight space, like obviously we've got plenty of room to work with here, but if you're in close quarters where you needed your binder to be really close to whatever it is that you're hooking up to, then what you can do is when you make your teardrop, extend it a little bit, and then instead of hooking in next to the teardrop like you normally would, just rotate this a little bit and actually hook into the teardrop itself. So that you've actually just got a little continuous loop of chain there that you're hooking your binder into. And I made this one a little bit generous. The hook is on the wrong side. You could change that, but you can get pretty close there without causing any unforeseen uh, leverage on your chains.